Andrew Onana is afraid of losing his position. I'm obviously going to let you know why, because it looks like the the coaching department of Man United is yet to make a very huge decision ahead of the new year of 2024 as the season continues to get into the second half of its bend welcome to united matters channel how are you guys and where you're watching us from rock and david is my name and hope you guys are really having a fantastic stay wherever you are this is the united matters channel strictly man united content that's what we do and hope you guys are really doing the best so it that you obviously find yourselves where you deserve to be now rock and david all rd is what you can call me we thank god for the gift of life and go ahead and obviously do the needful. Ten Hag has gone ahead and obviously spoken about the season of Man United that he was having right now. And Dan Gore has gone ahead to obviously get an injury while at the England national team duties. So let's see close to 200 likes much on the VC. This let's see close to 200 likes much on this video. And I've gone ahead to love how you guys are coming in through to obviously spread the love and really do all what you need to do <coughs> on this channel because you guys. I really loved you are really special and i really feel your specialities in here yesterday we hit 16,000 subscribers and i see more of you obviously continuing to subscribe to this channel what a way to obviously kick start off the month of november as we obviously try to see to it that things go on as planned so where should we start from <coughs> The Muslims Barak Laufikum, right? So let's start off with Andrew Yonana and the statement being brought to us by the guy is known as Disco Mira. You can as well call him David McDonnell. He's a Manchester correspondent for the Daily Mail. So he has come out and really told us the following, meaning that he is really a close source and is being fed in or briefed by the club of Man United or a source from Man United. They told us that. Manchester United are increasingly resign, resigned to losing Andrew Nana to the AFCON in January. Onana is concerned he could lose his place as a number one to Bendeyer. Although Bendeyer has yet to play for Man United, the club's coaching coaches, the club's goalkeeping coaches have been hugely impressed by his standard in training since he joined, as has Onana. Onana has told friends Bendeyil is the best backup keeper he has ever worked with and he knows he may face a battle to reclaim his place as United's number one if his understudy does well in his absence. Now, <clears throat> when you read that article, it's coming in from the mirror, correspondent of Man United, and you start adding dots, you obviously understand exactly what is being communicated to the people and with the fans of Man United. And if I'm to pick out the bonds, let me talk about Andrew Nana. And where is he going? From the 13th of January <coughs> to the 13th or to the 11th of February, the African Cup of Nations is going to take place in Cote d'Ivoire, or you can call it Ivory Coast. You understand? Now, as it takes place in Ivory Coast or Cote d'Ivoire, lots of things are going to happen. <clears throat> and one of the huge misses we are obviously not going to be having is Andrew Nana. You know? So, and he's not going to leave on the 13th. He's going to leave, he has to leave like a week too. You know? Remember, at the beginning of the year, there is an FA Cup. We don't know where the draw is going to put us as much as United. There is an FA Cup, and I think there are going to be some rest in there for you. But in total, if Cameroon makes it to the final, Andrew Nana will miss out on eight games of Manchester United. And rumors have always been that maybe David De Gea is obviously going to be brought in to obviously come in and do what we call an act as a patch, you know, for for Andrew Yonana. But we are being told by source coming in from Man United that the plan is simple. Bendeyer is obviously going to take over. And Andrew Yonana has gone ahead to obviously confirm to his friends that this is the best second second choice goalkeeper, all backup, all understudy goalkeeper he has ever faced. And trust me, if a goalkeeper has been a first choice goalkeeper at Fanabachi and is the first choice goalkeeper 
for the Turkish national team, that goalkeeper is good. He's good. And he can obviously push Andri Onana to the fullest. Andri Onana's backing is because of the price that we bought him. If Andri Onana was a goalkeeper of 30 million pounds, trust me, he would have gone ahead to be benched the time he made the mistakes. But as he's obviously worrying about that, there is something to obviously understand about him. He has gone ahead to perform well in the recent games we're going to have to play. I think his last mistake was when we are playing... Um, we are playing which team? Uh, was it Brentford, right? I think we are playing Brentford. But against Copenhagen, he obviously pulled out a show against... Against Man City, he saved us from he saved us from four clear cut chances that Haaland had one v one. Um, against <coughs> Copenhagen away, he was really great. Against Burnley, he looked great. Against Luton Town, he looked great. So he's coming good. And I've always told you that it's just a matter of time for him to come in through and obviously do the needful and take us to where we deserve to be as a club of Man United. So there is huge fear and. When you're doing the training sessions, you really see to it that this goalkeeper is trying to match the levels. And he has nothing to do. He has to leave for Cameroon and Bendeir is going to be given a chance. So if Bendeir is going to be given a chance, that ends all the rumors that United are heading to bring David De Gea back. That is it. So if Bendeir is given a chance and proves himself, and with the fans obviously see to it that he is obviously <coughs> better or equivalent to Andrew Nana, then it's going to put Eric Ten Hag in a very, 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 very bad situation because that situation that he's going to be in is going to result into into what we call tension. You know, every time Onana will make a mistake, the fans will call in for Bendeir. Every time Bendeir makes a mistake, they're calling for Onana. Onana. But Eric Ten Hag is going to have to show us that his first choice goalkeeper has always been Andre Onana and is going to be Andre Onana. So we wait and see how that pans out. But there is scare in Andre Onana. And I like that. I like that because every time now Andre Onana gets in goal, he'll obviously get to know that before I leave for the African Cup of Nations, I have to obviously leave the bar set so high that Bendeiro cannot even match. Even if he comes out and obviously puts in brilliant performances, he won't match the levels. And I think that helps the club because healthy competition helps the club to obviously reach its levels, especially when it comes to hard games when these players need to obviously show what they've got to give to their managers. So I really take it and I like that competition and the first Sorry, the goalkeeping coaches are obviously not afraid of the departure of Andre Onana. And if I do Andre Onana, you really feel like, oh, they're not afraid of my departure because of what I'm going to have to do. What should I be doing? <laughs> that is the big question. So, we leave that at that. And I leave it in your hands. Obviously, come through and let me know what your thoughts are about that. And remember again that he's not only the United player that is leaving for the AFCON, Hannibal is leaving you know but i think by the time Hannibal leaves maybe casimiro will be back um and kobe many would have gone ahead to obviously find himself in a position of really suiting into those levels the other player that is leaving is amadi diallo he's going to play for for the hosts of the african cup of nations tournament of finales of 2024 in ivory coast and um he's set to return to full action especially when we return as we play against everton and you never know whether he's going to be called because he has not been performing he's coming from injury whether his form will be up or down it will depend on the manager of ivory coast on the decision he is yet to make to obviously sign in this player and obviously give him the the best that he deserves as a player at manchester united but i think he'll also live so we are obviously not going to be having three players. So those three players being away will not obviously hurt us a lot, provided we go and obviously bring in some good players, like in the central defense, we need a player. And maybe Ten Hag might look out for another player in the midfield 
to obviously help Man United become better and better and better. So that is it about Onana, afraid of losing his position. What do you make about it? And now let's head to Eric Ten Hag and what he has to say about the season and the record has gone ahead to set at Man United. Remember, he's the first manager at Man United to get 30 wins in 50 games of the Premier League. That is Eric Ten Hag for you. And he has gone ahead to say, not bad. It's like not like it's not like I can celebrate that. We need to play better. Even without the good performances, we are still close to where we want to be. If we start to play well, it will be easier to get there. The other clubs will have setbacks, things will turn around. Even after all the setbacks, we are still in position nearby the top four. We have won four from five in the Premier League. If you oversee all the trouble we had, we are in a very good position. That's what Eric Ten Hag is saying. So, Ten Hag is a very attention to detailed manager. We all know that. So, he's saying that if at all we can get a run, of some good games then we can find ourselves in a better position of really getting more and 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 more of what we are having at the club of man united and i really think he's really he's really heads on with what he's saying because we started off the season badly out of the first 12 games i think we've gonna hit win seven and lost and lost five you know, losing to Brighton at Old Trafford, I think it was not really worth. Crystal Palace, not really worth it. You know, Arsenal, Man City, Tottenham Hotspur, right? <clears throat> I don't think that that explains the best quality that we have at the club of Man United. But all I believe is in the manager. And my other belief is in the likes of uh, Sajim Rakitic coming in throughout Man United to start what we call controlling the football duties or activities at Man United with the likes of John Cloud as a CEO and uh, what's the name of this other guy? Paul Michu as the sporting director. I think we're going to become a better team. Those are the things that we obviously lacked at Man United. And let's see if we have those in place, how are we going to fail to compete with these teams and obviously take them to where we deserve to be? Because no team in the Premier League is going to be as attractive as Man United if at all we get back to where we are and we start winning trophies. Every player would be loving to come in through to play for the club of Manchester United. That is it. And let no one lie to you that they won't come. They are going to come to our club of Manchester United. So that is it coming in from Eric Ten Hag. And um, let's sum up with Dan Go. You know Dan Go, very good player. And the way obviously plays that midfield role is obviously important. And we all ask ourselves, how does Eric Ten Hag, you know, <clears throat> let Zidane Iqbo and Charlie Savage leave? Yet, by the time he came in through, he confirmed to us that these are the best ball, all ball passes in the midfield of Man United. And he let them go. He had a reason. First, we needed to get in money to obviously see to it that we get our financial fair play rule ready to get in other players. And secondly, he had the best replacements. And when you look at Kobe Menu and Dan Go, you obviously believe that Ten Hag had the best eye. And when it comes to young players, he obviously knows which player can thrive in the Premier League and who can't. And these players have not gone ahead to disappoint us. And the most close to the starting 11 is none other than um what's the name of the guy kobe menu but dan go has gone ahead to obviously get an injury while at the england national team i think it's like the under 21s right because Danny go i think is 20 uh, 2019 one of those and i think he's playing for the under 21s he has gone ahead to obviously get an injury and he's out of action so we wish him a quick recovery and now i call in for your thoughts about Andrew nana afraid of losing his position 
at the club of Man United? What do you make about it? Do you think Ben David is going to put in a challenge and it's going to make people forget about this guy? Yes or no? In the comment section below. And then, what do you make about Eric Ten Hag talking about his record set in the Premier League? 50 games in the Premier League, 30 wins. Fastest manager to hit or to clinch that. And what do you talk about our season? According to how Ten Hag is going to obviously react about it. May the living to God, may the living to God bless you abundantly. The Muslims Barakla Fikum. And guys, let's call it a good morning. In my country it is, and I know in your country it is. I'm out.